Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building tomorrow. God damn it. 
Was anyone even in there? If there was, they ain't anymore. <laughs> That's messed up, man. No way anyone walked out of this in one piece. 
Stone said not to underestimate these guys. Don't these let guys? your guard down. No one's walking away. Maybe. We gotta make sure. Red Sun insisted we bring someone back alive. What is this? Well, whatever the hell they were testing out here, I hope it's not close. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact, contact! What are you doing?
sign of survivors here. They have to be dead. Hey, you know, I always wanted to be a coach. If you think I'm not, or you can scrape me out of this swamp, too. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out.
Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. What is this place? We're all counting on you. Stay strong. Are you boys all right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds. No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with the troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? But now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but. His drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour.
You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> Now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. left who made it hey you just relax pal i'm doing what i can you damn superhero <sighs> here here's another superpower Can't find Midas. But Weaver. Hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. You might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go.
Weaver was a good dude. I'll say. He didn't take a dump without checking his gear. Well, he didn't take any chances. How'd he do it? Don't. How did he do it? He executed him. Like he was some rabid dog. Backstabbing piece of shit. I wonder if Midas made it. That dude crossed the border outside Juarez, blackout drunk in ranger panties and flip-flops. If anyone can hold it together out here, it's him. God, you remember that? If he's out there, we got a shot. Maybe. Give me the three of us. You, me, Midas. We'll find that piece of shit, Walker. Run him right into the ground. We got to. For Weaver. You're not exactly in fighting shape right now, man. You gonna be able to walk again? I better. This ain't no way for me to go out. You get some rest, pal. Later, brother. Later.
You're a little far from home, aren't you? I'm here on work. This is no vacation. You don't look like the typical tourist. In fact, you look like you have a little bit of soldier in you. Well, what's your story? I came here looking for a little peace. Instead, I found the wolves. It sounds like we have a common enemy. What can you tell me about them? I've been doing recon on those pricks for months now. They're different than regular Sentinel. They're more like you. They're highly specialized. They work in small teams, and they're lethal. They got their own off-sites all to themselves. They hardly ever leave. They just train. I'll have to pay them a visit. <laughs> what? You got a death wish? You can't fight them alone. They're too good. You'll need a full team to take them on. Can I count you in? <laughs> like I said, I came here looking for peace. But that doesn't mean I can't tell you where to find a fight. Let me know when you're ready. You'll need a team, so either bring your own or I'll help you find one. Then I'll show you where to find the wolves current offsite, and you can get down to business. Rowan, you got a little military in you. I guess I still look the part. Hard to wash that stink off, huh? Tell me about it. Who were you with? Army, 10th Mountain. Good. That ought to come in handy. Can't tell who you're with, though. I'd call that a non-standard uniform. We need deniability sometimes. And honestly, I wear what's comfortable. They let us get away with a lot. Ah, you're one of those people. I guess I am. Reckon you uh, can't tell me the name of your unit. I could, but... You'd have to kill me. Right. So, where were you before? I was Navy. Did a few years on the teams before joining DevGrew. SEAL, huh? Did some work with them in Baghdad, chasing the deck of cards. Well, I was there in 0306 and 08. We took down our fair share of the deck. Glad to have you on this one. Wish the situation on the ground was friendlier. <laughs> Don't worry. Shouldn't be nothing for a knuckle-dragger like you. So, where were you before? The 2-4. Special Tactics Squadron. I'm a controller. Air Force? AFSOC. I was attached to TF Blue for a few years before I got picked up here. Was with Task Force 145 and 06. Hunter-killer team. Hunter-killer, huh? Something like that. Good. We got lots that needs hunting and killing around here. So, where were you before? Three seven five, for twelve years. A ranger. I should have known. Ran into a few of your guys in Afghanistan back in 03. 03, I was there. It was a busy time. No shit. Oh yeah. Jumped into Kandahar in 01, and went back in 03, 05, 06, 08, and, uh, 09. Well, you definitely smell like a ranger. So, where were you before? I was at group, then went over the fence. Delta Force, huh? Spooky, spooky. Ah, no one really calls it that anymore. But yeah, did about eight years at the unit. Well, shit, man. We got the right guy for the job then, don't we? Ask me again when it's over. There ain't nothing on this island a snake eater like you can't handle. So, where were you before? Second four Contalo 6, then I helped stand up Marsoc. A Marine, huh? Shit. I fought with you guys in Afghanistan back in 05. Tough bastards. I was there in 05, up in the Karengo. Well, I'm glad you're here now. Wish I could say the same. Come on. I never met a Marine who wasn't up for a good fight. So, where were you before? First group. Thirteen years. Green Beret. I worked with a few of you boys back in Afghanistan. 02 and 03. I was there in 01 and 02. 03, we headed out to Baghdad for some easy living. Those mountains in Afghanistan were a bitch to fight in, weren't they? A lot tougher than fighting all of the bureaucratic red tape stateside. Well, if you're looking for a tough fight, 
You found one here. So, where were you before? Maybe we can talk about it another time. A lot of water under a lot of bridges. No worries, brother. So, Rowan, how is it that you settled here on Aroa? Ah, uh, you know, classic stuff. Came to the island, found peace. Didn't mind the neighbors until they pulled out the killer drones. The usual. You're a little far from home, aren't you? I'm here on work. This is no vacation. You don't look like the typical tourist. What was I came here. I've been doing recon on those pricks for months now. I'll have to pay this. What? You got a death? Can I count you in? <laughs> like I said, I came here looking for... I'll see you later. Cool. The battlefield will need more blood. It makes the green grass grow, right? Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. That's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. It'd be a pretty island without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Uh, well, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the Naval Station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now, you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Nomad, how are you? Missing the comforts of home. Otherwise, not bad. Don't let those comforts control you. Listen, I've been tied up with some personal business, so I was hoping you would do me a favor. Sure. What's up? Rumor has it some old dog tags turned up just west of Howard Port. The fellow who discovered them said he found them on a skeleton out in the woods by a bombed-out old jeep. He didn't want to disturb the remains out of respect. Thing is, I think they belong to a Cold War buddy of mine. Cal was a good soldier and an even better friend. He saved my life half a dozen times. Sad we lost touch over the years and... Well, I'd just really like to know what happened. Yeah, I get it. We've both buried our share of friends. I'll check it out. I suggest searching just north of Groves Pond. Shouldn't be too tough to find. It's near Gordon Slough, over in the Sinking Country province. I'm on it.
How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. Have you heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltec's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. Well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Everyone is getting so crowded. How long do you think we're gonna be crowded? You heard from Samuel? I don't know. Not since last week, but it doesn't sure look like there's fine. an end in sight. Fine. I had to leave my last farm. Time I saw